Uh, it was a high of 50, no, it was a high of 70 something today, but yesterday it was a high of 54. Yeah, oh, no, bro, I you love better it. get out of here with some trash weather. <laughs> it was like a high of 30 around here most of the time. Oh, yeah, wow. and, and I miss it, okay? I miss it so much. Anyway, with that being said, welcome back, gamers, to the Experience Points Podcast. And this is actually going to be episode 34. Um, G4 relaunched last night, so we're just going to discuss that. It's going to be Blackout and I, and we're just going to discuss our thoughts about the new show, the the, re the relaunch of the show, and also to the old show. Um, but yeah, I, I, overall, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was very enjoyable. Minus the very beginning, which was literally kind of making me like, I'm like, I, I was literally thinking about myself, I'm not watching this whole thing. It was going to almost be that stupid wheel. I'm like, I'm not watching this whole thing. I was literally just ready to find something else to do. The beginning was literally painful with their wheel of pain was painful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was so painful. But they did realize it themselves. So that's why Kevin was like, okay, let's, it's time to move on. For real. They were because real. real. This, this stuff wasn't working. You know, it was terrible, especially when they were trying to electrocute themselves or whatever it was. <laughs> that was funny. They just look so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and just in case you're wondering, folks, I'm sipping on hot chocolate. Because it's nice and chilly outside. Okay, people. That's good what he called chilly is like, I would go out there on a jacket on it. <laughs> okay, as of right now, since I'm from Chicago, as everybody knows, I can go outside and in shorts and it shouldn't be perfectly fine but any little bit of chilliness i take okay let me take it let me take it mm -hmm. anyways <laughs> um so g4 relaunch is not just on youtube it's on twitch and it's also on comcast i actually we just got rid of our comcast channel uh our comcast service because they were charging us like it went, from, it, went from, it went from like 70 a month to like 230. Yeah, all right. Now I'm not complaining. I'm spending about 294 a month, but it's got cable, phone, and internet. But it still went up like 50 or 60 dollars from what it was. It's just ridiculous. I'm, I've been considering for a while to get rid of cable myself and just, and just yeah. go on like the streaming platforms and whatnot. But I'm kind of an old gear and I kind of don't want to get rid of it. So I'm struggling here. Well, I mean, I, I I know you like like basketball and stuff like that, so you still watch those, but you don't like record as much as you used to, right? Yeah, that's true. The only thing I ever really record is like tsunami on Saturday nights, and I can watch half the stuff on like different streaming exactly. services anyway. Oh, that's and stuff you can I watch online. Watch and then, like, you know, Family Guy and The Simpsons, even though you can watch that anywhere. Well, not anywhere. You can watch that other place. <laughs> Excuse me. Exactly. So, anyway. Now, well, as far as uh, G4 goes, you know, I'm glad that they're streaming it. Streaming each show on, on, on YouTube, you know. They're actually, it's, actually, actually, it's, actually, it, yeah. it's actually going on right now. And I posted on our Facebook page the uh, the first week, the launch week schedule of it. And tonight's, yeah. like, Attack of the Show and The Loop. Tomorrow's, like, X-Play. And then yeah, Friday's the something. Again. Yeah, then, like, Attack of the Show again, right? So... Shooting back to the original, um, the original G4, like, <laughs> I was in Michigan at the time, and I had just moved there, like, literally just moved there, so I didn't have a job, I was staying with my aunt, and I was taking care of my cousins, and I remember my cousin Silver was just born, and I was, I was changing her diaper, and I was trying to find something to watch, I'm like, what the hell am I going to watch, and I flipped on, and the very first thing that I saw was Cinematech. <laughs> I said, what in the hell is this awesomeness? And I just watched. I literally watched for the rest of that day. And then from that, that point on, I was hooked. But Cinematech was basically a half-hour show. 
and it was a real, like a real show, not 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 a real show, not R E A L R E E L, a real show of different, you know, different games uh, of different. Show that clip. Show that. There you go, different clips of games. <laughs> <laughs> it's close to my bedtime. I'm getting tired. Um, no, but it was just it was a half hour show, and they just showed different games, different clips. And it, as a gamer at that time, you know the internet really wasn't big as it is now. You, could, you really couldn't just pop on the internet, and just watch whatever you wanted because it mm -hmm. didn't work. Didn't work that way. Definitely, um, if you dial up, it was slow, and it was really slow. <laughs> don't don't remind me. And and at the time, we didn't have a computer in the house, so the times. <laughs> <laughs> Quick side story. Um, if I ever want to watch anything entertainment related, I would have to go to the library, get a pass for an hour. If 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 I get an hour pass, and hop on the computer, wait about ten minutes for the thing to boot up and load up, and then I could watch videos on on I could watch QuickTime videos. Oh dang! I forgot about QuickTime. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And QuickTime videos, for those who don't know, were about the, they were smaller than your phone. The videos were smaller than a phone screen, no joke. And they yeah. would chug and chug and chug. And the quality was less than 240p. <laughs> it was pretty bad, people. And I remember I watched, because at that time, um, Spider Man 2 was just about to come out. And I love the first Spider Man. Um, you did not I, watch the first movie on uh, QuickTime. No, 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 no. I watched the trailer. Oh, okay. I watched the trailer. I, I watched that trailer at least about 16 times in that first week that it came out. I just I would go to the library just to watch the damn trailer. So stuff like that is is my kind of geek happy. Like I love watching gameplay footage and trailers of games and stuff like that. It makes me happy. So Cinematech being the first thing I saw, and it had like a very faint Japanese thing to it. You know, they would show a clip. Then it would like reel to the next one, and then there'd be some Japanese letters in between. It was just, it was a lot of fan service with the original G4. What was the first G4 show you remember watching? Uh, let me see. I was, well, first, I'm going to tell you about the first time I watched G4. Funny story, it was up that guy food poisoning because I was like, oh, that was a terrible week, man. So, anyway, I had food poisoning from eating some taco bit. No, I'm just going to, um, this is from the hero and Big Boy. I got food poisoning. I miss Big Boys. Hey, Big Boys is good, but I did get food poisoning. So that was, I'm telling you, getting food poisoning ain't fun. But anyway, so, you know. I've I, had I, it I, before. I wasn't doing much, you know, just trying to uh, find something to watch on TV while I'm laying in the bed. And I, I was just like flipping the television. Like, you know, like back then when cable, like, there really wasn't anything on during the day. Uh -huh. I'm just flipping through channels and stuff. I'm like, oh, what is this? It's like video games. Like, whoa, hold on. That's video games on TV. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's when I discovered G4. Pretty much, I was with that today. I can't remember what my first show was. I want to say it was the one where they, I can't remember what it was called. The one where they're actually playing versus, like, in the studio. What was that? Uh, They did that on X Play. Maybe, yeah, you know what? Maybe it was X Play. I think it was X Play. I think they did that on Arena, too. Oh, it was Arena. It was definitely Arena. Yeah, Arena was my first show. But I was, I, I was just like, oh my God, this is so awesome. Because, you know, back then it was a lot harder, to, as, you, as you pointed out, it was a lot harder to get your, like, nerd fix out of a video game. <laughs> exactly. I was, much, but I was, like, made the main video game person out of everybody I knew. <laughs> you were. That's why we loved you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was the hub. I was the video game hub. Back it was the video game hub. And, <laughs> and the greatest thing about G4 uh, and its inception, as per our conversation earlier, Ralph Wiggum. <laughs> <laughs> inception is a movie! <laughs> <laughs> the thing about its, its inception days when it first came out was that us as gamers, we never had representation like that before. Like, being a gamer... Being seen as a gamer, like, I've had to defend, and I really want to do an episode about this, because i got so many stories. I've had to defend myself as a gamer so many times, because when people think that you're a gamer, they think you're lazy, they think you're stupid, they think that, you know, you don't have a freaking attention span, you know, they think that you're a freaking, you know, 
a uh, freaking bad guy for some reason. This like you're a menace uh, to society. Because menace like, to society, exactly. Yeah. That's not what we are. We are highly intelligent, highly skilled <clears throat> members of society, and us being gamers, you know how many freaking books and movies and stories we have experienced and read and taken in and how many problems we've solved in freaking video games come on i don't don't even get me started but anyway but g4 in its entirety and all this programming was just a in a huge representation of our culture and and that's the first time that i felt like video games was a culture when g4 kicked off I mean, shows like Arena that represented, you know, the the competitive side of things. Um, shows like Cheat, where, you mm-hmm. know, you go on there and Kristen Adams, because she was freaking hot, Kristen Adams, <laughs> she would tell you cheat codes for games, and you didn't have to go out and buy a freaking book or whatever. Um, the strategy gas out those magazines. Exactly. Cinematech was still one of my favorite shows, and I'm really hoping that they bring it back in some kind of way, which I highly doubt it with the way things are with the internet. Um, Electric Playground was great. Um, <clears throat> Victor Lucas and... What's the other guy's name? Uh, I forgot the other guy's name, but, you know, they talked about video games, and they talked to developers, and, you know, they, they gave us an insight on video games, and it was just so, so great to see. Filter, I talked about Filter before, still one of my favorites. Um, it's just <laughs> Attack of the Show. The list goes on and on and on. Um, Pulse, Judgment Day, Portal. Come on now, it's just it. It just it's nonstop. They 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 had a representation for every genre of they video did. games. It got a little crazy later on. It was like, come on, you guys need to take it back a little bit. But the well, you uh, whatever that other thing was that I can't remember at the moment. Yeah, uh, Esquire? No, that was, that was when he was dead. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about... <laughs> he did. <laughs> Pretty much. They, they, they literally <laughs> killed him. No, I mean, when they all uh, fused the first time, you know, with the... the, the, the oh, damn it. I can't remember what it was. Anyway, well, yeah. that, it might come back to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it now. I'm trying to See, but tech TV, but I don't think that's what it was called. I guess I think it was. Oh, yeah. But anyway, the, the the original programming, like the the first twelve shows or whatever, and on top of that, in the beginning, in the very very beginning, there were no commercials. Oh, I remember that. That was lovely. I think, well, you know, other than in between shows, yeah, there was zero commercials, and the commercials that they did play were based on video games. video game commercials. Yeah. And I absolutely adored that. I'm like, I'm so happy this is happening, and then slowly but surely. They started getting funding, and they started getting bigger, and they started getting corporate sponsors, and that started taking over. And it's like, man, like I, I, I saw the fall. <laughs> yeah, you can tell. Oh, 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 there is one other very good thing you're forgetting about G4. G4 was like the original and only place you could get E3 coverage. That is a hundred percent true. That's a hundred percent true. Especially with the internet being the way it was at the time, that was mm-hmm. that was the biggest thing. And E3 was exciting around around then. And I don't know if E3 is going to be the same. I think we should do a death of E3 episode. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think it's going to ever be the same again. I mean, it was already kind of falling off even before COVID. But you know, now you got companies that don't even go anymore. Like Sony is like, yeah, I mean, it, it had a great run, but it just. You know, it's just not what it is. You can get so much information just off the internet. There's like no point in having E3. So much stuff gets mm-hmm. and everything. Exactly, which is why they need to shift it. They need to change things around because things are going to change anyway. So you need to adapt. You know, what yeah. I'm saying? especially with this whole COVID thing. And and somebody was talking about it um, this year. I think it was um, Matt Damon. <laughs> Just not his name, um, Damon Hat Damon Hatfield from from IGN from from Game Scoop. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! He was talking about um, how they should be like giving like free demos of games, like even if it's just for a limited time. You know, these brand new games coming out, send send us demos at home so we can play, or like little trials for like an hour. <clears throat> that like we can... re- like that one thing Capcom has been really good at with their Resident Evil games. They always give you those like nice one hour trials, like as soon as they release the game, you know, re- reveal the game. 
Exactly. Like, like, and, and, and stuff like that is perfectly fine. You know, it, it's expected when it's like a big like E3 announcement like that. That would make E3 so much so much more awesome. Yeah. So it anyway. would work. It would it would definitely cater to it. Even even if you had to pay like a ten, I don't want to pay nothing on cheap. Even if you had to pay like a ten dollar like, um, you know, entry fee or something like that. But then getting access to all trying out all those games like that—that'd be a really good idea. And it would make them all a lot of revenue because you know people gotta do that. Mm-hmm. A show would. It'll be like a, a live E three demo disc. Yeah, that'd be yeah. so cool. Hashtag marketing. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so back to the original G4. I mean, it was just it was so much bigger, so much ahead of its time than you know it had any right to be. But then bringing it back, <clears throat> watching last night, you know, with the squirrel and the freaking <laughs> that squirrel was hilarious in the fr- in the freaking sponsor mobile, the RC, the RC sponsor mobile, <laughs> missed the, missed the jump completely. <laughs> the, oh. um, the actual the hosts are funny. Like I have no idea who's hosting what shows because I, I don't think they really said they just they like, showed... kind of mentioned it like, but it was kind of like you have to pay attention. Like um, oh, with, with all due respect. The lesbian girl and the um, <laughs> I think the super nerdy dude are a part of that um role that got what boom boom boosted boom, 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 boom. yeah there we yeah. go yeah and and I believe my Asian honey is a part of X play <laughs> over that attack is, is either X I mean I'm pretty sure it was X play I think it was X play so, yeah, yeah X play yeah I think it was X but, and I don't know what show Xavier is on. I think he's attacking the show, but I'm not sure. I think Xavier was just hosting for tonight. Um, I don't know what he's doing, really. Yeah, because, I mean, <laughs> when when they announced the, the relaunch earlier this year, whenever that was, he was a big part of it. And, um, oh, why have you remember? That was Thanksgiving. They had that bootleg Thanksgiving. That was last Thanksgiving. That was actually that was pretty funny. I, I enjoyed that. And and that's the thing. The, 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 the comedy and the feel of the channel is... Is back in part, you know. What I mean, I don't know what it's going to be like on Comcast, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be worse on TV than it is going to be on like Probably. YouTube. Probably. Because, but I mean, I, but still, like even when I was trying to laugh, they make me laugh. It's like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's our kind of humor. That's that nerdy, goofy, gamey, gamer, gamer humor. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm just, I'm, I'm happy it's back, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. After the first segment with the wheel of pain the wheel after, of pain was literal pain after that it was good you know and then the the, the last segment with the giant nes controller kind of dragged on a bit but oh you didn't mind what your girl got of out of course that. not of course not she was like well, boom 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 well she was very pg but let's just say she <laughs> was um <laughs> she was using her booty booty maximus but <laughs> Um, muffled in order to actually do better than the main two shows. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I want that controller, damn it. <laughs> Four reasons. You want that exact controller, right? And you don't want any controller. You want that controller. <laughs> I want that controller. <laughs> I know Four. you were thinking like, oh, you, you don't have to disrespect. You don't have to burn it. Just send it to me. <laughs> I'll find room for it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that thing literally wouldn't even fit in your damn game room. You'd have to put that like in the living room. <laughs> For real. Your wife would be like, what are you doing? Here? Nothing. What are you doing? I'm just sniffing it, baby. I just got to <laughs> smell it one more time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm very excited for G4 to come back. and I, I don't know how long it's going to last. I, honestly, I don't see it lasting long. It depends on how things happen. I, I I mean, you know, if they have the right support, it could last. But I know what you're saying. You, no, nothing is guaranteed around here. I mean, look, like sometimes good stuff you didn't cancel. Like what? Cancel? What? Yeah. I hope this will last. I, I think it could last, but who knows? Yeah, I mean, even if it lasts for like a year or something, I'm I'm perfectly fine with that because I could I could see it wearing out its welcome. <clears throat> Because in in the heyday of the original G four, it was it was definitely getting getting kind of old. 
Yeah, but that's because all the corporate sponsors, you it's like literally, they just start talking about the stuff like in the middle of the episode. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to get blah blah so so on freaking shaving and stuff. I remember, I, did, I swear, I think they had like a damn shaving, um, like pack or something at one point in those I'm like, what? I <laughs> I, I don't care for no razors like that, y'all. I don't care about my video game show. But I mean, awesome. it lasts. But it lasted twelve years. I mean, from well, eleven years, from two thousand two to two thousand thirteen. That's that's quite a run. Literally the year after I graduated. Yeah, that that, that does that literally does all shine me until about the time I got that damn um food poison. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. So. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's good stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, that was our little short and quick episode about G4. I just wanted to uh, to represent this momentous occasion in, in our little podcasting history. And didn't want to let it go by without documenting our thoughts. Oh, I do have one question for you. Yes. Are you, are you a Dash X player or are you okay without it? Wait, was it not there? They said, didn't you? That was like a whole part of the beginning. They were talking about they took the dash out of X play because they met Xavier and they didn't realize that they could make that X sound without, you know, like kind of doing it like that. So like, they saw Xavier <laughs> and Xavier without having a dash. So yeah, that's why they got rid of the dash. But then it was like, comment to bring the dash back. So they said something funny. Bring it back, damn it. Bring it back. The dash Bring needs to back be there. The dash. Dash so needs you to be are there. a pro dasher. I'm a pro dasher. I actually missed that part because I had a phone call I had to take and then I didn't want to be 13 because I was on the phone for 13 minutes. I didn't want to be 13 nah. minutes behind, so I, I just fast forwarded it um, to catch up with you so we can keep chatting about it. But nah, yes, I got it. I'm a pro dasher. Uh, real quick, is there any show? I've, I've already said mine. Is there any show that you want to come back? I probably say arena because you know I'm, I'm a competitive son of a gun. I can't well, help it. Well, I think boosted might be that that form. If it's not like that kid, that cannon little preview they showed, it might be. But oh no, that was kind of bootleg. <laughs> it was kind of bootleg, and I really hope that my favorite is on a different show because yeah, bring her on to a second show because boosted is so boosted. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking through the shows now, and I'm trying to see. I forgot about Game Makers. I don't remember um, that one. I enjoy Pulse. I like Pulse a lot. But Pulse. They, I like Pulse. But that's not one that needs to come back. But didn't uh, it have one of the female hosts that you thought were cute on it? Mm-hmm. Uh, do, 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 Street Fury, Formula D, no. Formula D? Yeah, you forget about Formula D? The, uh, Apparently. Drift, the the drifting the drifting culture show. All right. Mm -hmm. the American Ninja Warrior. They said it's already. I think they said it's going to come back on there. That show has never gone anywhere. Like I said, <laughs> I went look for G Four yesterday when they said it was coming back, and literally I went to G Four. There was like nothing but American Ninja Warrior or whatever. And I was like, it was going yep. out for hours. It was cops, cops, and. Uh, and, and Ninja Warrior. It was those two shows, like 24-7. And then at, at and late cheater. night, they played a freaking movie. Oh, they played Cheaters late night. And then they play like one movie, <laughs> one random movie, and then they get back to it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I want I want Morgan Webb to come back with Adam Sessler because those two were just awesome together. They were like the, they were like the Barry couple, even though they weren't Barry, but they were good together. <laughs> they were peanut butter and jelly for real. They were so good. I thought um, she was going to come back because she was on the uh, reunion Thanksgiving thing. But I guess she's like, I'm just going to one time. Yeah. I, th I think I saw a tweet that Blair Herter uh, was like behind the scenes doing stuff. So I just, I, I, if if anything, I hope they have them out on like special guests from time to time. That'd be nice. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Anyway, with that being said, uh, G4, welcome back, G4. We missed you. So happy you're back. Never stop. Go ahead, back. Go ahead, drop back. <laughs> Never stop playing. And as always, gamers, don't forget to keep on leveling up. <laughs>